Hey guys, today I'm gonna to start this video off a little different. I have a battery by Energy Cloud, 100 amp hour. Now I am going to cut to a clip of what I did while I was testing this battery. So here you go. Okay, well, I didn't catch it on camera, but I'll give you the play-by-play. -play. So I was coming out of my driveway. I hit the gas real hard and the golf cart turned pretty hard and I crashed it. So. <laughs> Uh, you can see the windshield popped out. Uh, you could see some marks on the tree right there from where the uh, brush bar hit. And you could see my brush bars all dented up and pushed up against the cowling. So that's going to come off. And uh, yeah, so uh, this battery definitely has a lot of power. A little bit more than what uh, I anticipated. So, I think from now on, when I do my testing, I'm going to wear my seatbelt because I just got thrown right off the side of that golf cart. Okay, so yeah, I uh, turned the wheel really sharp and the cart bucked me off. I fell off the cart and it continued on and plowed into a tree. So, this battery has tons of power to take you where you don't want to go. So, this is a 100 amp hour battery. It has a 200 amp BMS. It's capable of doing like up to 400 amps of surge power up to, I believe it's 30 seconds, which in some of my testing, I got up to over 300 amps and the battery didn't kick out, uh, kept running, performing just the way it's supposed to. Now this is a golf cart battery. Some of the other 12 volt battery for like home energy storage or for your RV. Yeah, you can series them up, but they may not have the surge capacity uh, in order to keep you running. Whereas a golf cart battery is built and it's built tough in order to take the amperage that you demand of it. So I would not suggest going the route of trying to put some batteries together yourself or buying a 48 volt home energy storage battery for less money, thinking that it's gonna work on your golf cart. You need the surge capacity, you need the larger BMS inside of your golf cart battery. So this, obviously performs perfect. Uh, this battery actually can do 200 amps of discharging continuously, as well as it can do 200 amps of charging continuously. I will probably never run it at 200 amps charging, but it can do it. So yeah, I took my cart out. Uh, I rode around my yard. I did some off-roading with it. Okay, now you can see here, I have the app open screen recording, and let's see what kind of amperage I get when I go to go uphill. And you can see I'm actually recharging right now because the regen on the brakes. Now discharging. Okay, we're now stopped on an incline. Now let's give it full gas and see how many amps we get. Woo, front tires came off the ground. Okay, let's try that again. Wow, almost 200 amps. Let's try that one more time. I gotta line myself up so I'm not gonna hit a tree. All right, now we're on a hill. I'm actually gonna try and pop a wheelie. Uh, I wasn't watching. I thought I was going to pop a wheelie. Let's try that again. This thing is so much more peppier with the lithium batteries in it. There we go. Okay, this is pretty steep incline right here. Okay, let's see. I've seen 300 amps. So I'd actually seen 300 amps there for a few seconds. So this battery is a beast. It's gonna work on any incline. 
you get a couple of straps in order to strap the battery down and installation is very simple. Installation on this battery could not be any easier. So as you can see here, we have the battery on my specific cart. I got a couple rails that run down that the battery sits in and it sits perfect right in between those rails. They supply the actual straps. You just strap it down and then you have your positive and your negative. Now for me, I'm running some 12 volt accessories. I'll leave links in the description, but this right here is a transformer that goes from 48 down to 12 volt to run all of your equipment. Now I already have a charger. They did supply a charger, but I already have one in my cart. I'm a big fan of actually just installing these right onto the cart and leaving them in here because they are waterproof. Down on the front here, uh, you just literally have a regular plug-in for a extension cord. So you don't actually have to bring around a cord or the charger with you if you're somewhere. All you need is an extension cord and you're good to charge. That's pretty neat that it just installs. Now, uh, I would have liked to have stalled this on the passenger side. Uh, so I need to move that charger actually for future because majority of the weight is going to be me sitting on the driver's side and I don't want to sit right above it. Not for safety, just for weight distribution. So it would be better if I had it on this side. And if I wanted to, I could actually run two of those for a total of 200 amp hours. But I mean, how much do you really need? Like that's going to be way overdoing it. I'll never discharge that in like a whole summer. And as you can see from my installation, I already had a battery charger on my cart. So I did not install this one. But these chargers are waterproof. Uh, they're waterproof and they're dustproof. You can just install this onto your cart and use a flush mount shore connection, which I'll leave links in the description below to Amazon. And you can literally just leave this on your cart. There's no need to drag this around or put it somewhere and forget where you put the charger next season. I personally like to just install these onto my cart and leave it. And then all you need to do is carry an extension cord. Just make sure you use a large enough extension cord uh, for gauge. So I'd do like a 14 gauge or larger. Uh, so that's all you really need to do. Uh, just leave this right on the cart. Don't carry it around. So that's the charger. It's a 20 amp charger. Uh, the highest I got, I just did some testing. I got uh, 18 amps out of it, which is fairly close to their 20 amp claim. 18 amps is going to be more than enough. Now this battery here does have an app, which I can show you that now. And the way that you get the app is on the side of the battery here. We have QR codes and then you can uh, download the app and you can connect to the battery. And you can see here, I have the app brought up. Uh, all the batteries are perfectly balanced. Like look at the differential here, 0 0.002 millivolts. That is amazing. This battery is perfectly balanced and that is just for me installing it and riding it around. And I think I've charged this once from, from probably like 50%. So this battery came nice and balanced. And if we look at some of the parameters here, so you can see the function settings as well. Uh, so balancing enabled, and then we have charge balancing. So what this means is that on most batteries, it'll only balance while it's charging. This will balance up to a certain set point of the cell voltage and then it will stop once everything is balanced out, which in my opinion is better. It's active balancing instead of passive balancing. And if we look at the parameters, we can see what they actually have set for the uh, cell balancing voltage, which is 3.43 volts. And where is it? Yeah, you can see it right there, uh, balanced turn on voltage at 3.43 volts, which is perfect. That's right on the incline, uh, well, the, the upper part of the cell, which is where you want it to start balancing. And you can see all the other stats here if you want to take a screenshot and look back at them. Here they are here. This is just the different stats. The one thing I disagree with their setting is the charging under temperature is set to minus 10. I would like to see that more at around zero, uh, maybe plus two degrees. So if you can get the app uh, that will allow you to change the parameter settings, that is one that I would change. And that is the only one I would change. 
Okay, and also, if you notice, where the QR code is here, there is a little communication port. So let me find the display for that and show you what that looks like. And something I notice about the display, if we look on the back here, you can see it says JBD BMS. Well, JBD LCD uh, 02 UV 1.2, but this lets me know that they're actually using a JBD BMS in here. And JBD actually carries my favorite brand of BMS. Uh, I would recommend a JBD BMS over them all. Let's plug this in. Okay, and then it just screws in. Now we've got a, a nice long cord here, so you can route this up underneath your cart, up to your dash, and then you can actually mount this onto your dash. So let's turn this on. And you can see there we have 98%, which was reflective on the app. So you can see we have 98% on standby. It's gonna give you your current voltage, your temperature, and then your runtime. So you can turn your charging on or off. I believe you just, yeah, there you go. That's off. And then, oh, you gotta slide it. Okay, now it's on. Uh, you can see it's been cycled twice. Our temperatures, and then our different cell voltages. So that's really nice that they have this display. And it's really nice that they're using a JBD BMS because I'm not gonna tear this battery open. It looks actually fairly difficult to tear this open, so I'm gonna refrain from doing so because uh, then I will have to cut it and damage it and uh, I won't be able to use it because it won't be watertight. So uh, right now, this battery, I think it's going for $1,430, which is an amazing price for a golf cart battery because again, these are built a lot tougher than your regular uh, home energy storage or RV storage batteries. So this is gonna give you what you need. Uh, the price is amazing. It's got free shipping, free return, five-year warranty, 24-hour um, customer support. Uh, it has everything you need. So I'm going to recommend this battery. It's worked flawlessly for me for, for my couple of cycles that I used it. Uh, I'm going to continue using it. If I find any defects or anything, I will fire up the camera and let you know, but I don't think I'm going to run into any. So again, for the price, the quality, I'm going to recommend this battery. As usual, Thank you for watching. Bye.